Hi everyone, it's Roman Khan from RMK Six Sigma. I'm just going to be running through a few examples from my new book, Six Sigma Statistics, using Mini Tab 19. This is the Green Belt Edition. We're going to be running through some examples from this book. You can download the data sets from my website, RMK Six Sigma. Hi, this is going to be a, a quick video based around Chapter Two of the new book, which is again called uh, Mini Tab Boot Camp. So you can work along if you download the files from RMK Six Sigma. So just as an intro, I've got Minitab 19 open uh, and you can see what it looks like. So it looks a lot like 18 at the top with the toolbars and the, the quick use buttons. But then it looks quite different because we've got the navigator on the left. So the navigator is used to track the story of your analysis and it will have commands listed here which you can refer back to. And when you click on one of those commands, it will show you uh, the data from that command. It can be the text data or a graph in the output pane it's called here which I'm circling now in the center below the output pane is we we, we have our additional uh, data sets where we're inputting them in and that's called the data pane uh, I used to call it the worksheet window then on the left you've got the command line that was in the previous mini tab as well which is used for the macro language and will below that have a history of your commands so if you want to you can look through your history quickly pull out a command and put it into the command line and just run that command again. So what you can do is you can change the ratio of the output pane to the data pane by pulling this up and down as shown here we've demonstrated. There's some quick buttons at the bottom so if I want the full window of data I can just click on that. I want to bring you back where it was. I can click on that one there and if I want a full output window I can click on there and then there's a zoom function here which I'll show you once we've got some data uh, in the output pane. So there, looking at the data here I can quickly add additional worksheets in there and then I'm looking at worksheet 4 which is currently active and it's telling me there that worksheet 4 is active and I can click on this little button to remove the navigator but the navigator is so useful it's just worth keeping there all the time. I'm quickly going to open a mini tab file this is the one for chapter two and like I said you can download it from rmk6sigma.com it's going to open another instance of mini tab 19 for me uh, so just to demonstrate let's quickly go up to the navigator you can see I've got four commands here clicking through each of them so you can see three were graphs and one was a piece of uh, text data output Here's my two worksheets that I've got in this project. One's called October 2019, one's called Worksheet 2. I've got a history of commands that I've previously logged, so you can see they're all saving stuff, nothing particularly interesting. But let's just have a look at the zoom function now. So I haven't got a, a graph open, but I've got some text open. So what I can do is still I can zoom in uh, on the text. That's particularly good for people like me who uh, now need glasses. Okay, taking that back to original size and then if it's a graph I want to zoom into I can do that as well and let's have a look at the graph okay bring it back to normal size open up the data window and I can zoom in there as well great stuff okay if I go back to my normal looking window uh, as I said before, the navigator is used to uh, take you through a history of the commands that you've used to produce outputs. And I can quickly look through what we've previously made on this data. And if you remember back to Minitab 18, if you're Minitab 18 users, and it just so happens, I've got that open here with the same kind of file. We used to use three buttons there. There used to be the graph window, and that used to tell us which graphs we had open. Then we could go to the worksheet window where we had our project worksheets containing data then we had the session window which contained our text outputs so instead of that now with mini tab 19 we've got the navigator for the session window outputs and the data outputs and we can see our data input pane all the time let's have a look at our worksheet data okay we know that pesky little r is in column one cell one so i'm going to remove that And then I've got to tell Minitab that this is numerical data. So I click on data, 
change data type and it's the column called calories that I want to change and I want to make it a numeric data column so just click on OK let's change that now to a numeric data column and what I want to demonstrate is if I create some more data I'm going to go and click on stat basic stats display descriptive statistics for worksheet 2 now click OK so now I've got two commands here for display descriptive statistics one for worksheet 2 that I've just created and here's the one that was there previously for the worksheet called October 2019 so now it could get confusing here if I have multiple commands with similar sounding names but what we've got here that makes it really helpful to categorize them is we can say group commands by worksheet my commands are split by worksheet so I can easily navigate through them I can also do it in time order if required another great enhancement for Minitab 19 is being how we can put graphs side by side we could do this on older versions as well but it was a bit more clunky so what I did there was I right clicked on the second graph that I wanted to open and then click on open split window and I've got the two side by side I can add more um, but then they start getting a bit small and I can also uh, make my window a bit bigger if required and make my graphs a bit bigger as well okay and I can also do that with the data so right click on descriptive data open and split window so I can look at the two side by side which is a very useful function and also if we want to send something to PowerPoint or Word we can do that easily from the output pane as well I can either uh, right click on there click send to PowerPoint or I can do it from up here as well on the little arrows and let's see how it takes my how quickly I can do this on my computer send to Word which isn't open at the moment and then it should open Word okay it's not going to make it active until I click on this but it sent it to Word and you can see how the data is still editable in Word and you can do that with PowerPoint as well okay so that ends our Minitab bootcamp session on uh, Minitab 19 hope you enjoyed that hopefully more videos to come thanks bye